Hi, my name is Matt Peterson with True North Accounting. Just here at home in my home office and self-isolation during this whole COVID thing. Just been having a lot of clients reaching out, uh, small business owners worried about what's going on, what, what options there are for them to keep their business afloat without going bankrupt or running out of cash or laying everybody off. And so I just thought I would explain a few of the initiatives and the relief that's out there from the federal government that was just outlined today. For small business owners that have tax bills coming up, the government has deferred that tax payment. They're going to defer that until September. Uh, for individuals, they're also deferring the tax payment. Tax filing deadline has been moved from April 30th to June 1st, so you get an extra two months to file. Although, for our clients, we're still going to stick with the April 30th as best we can, mainly because you don't get your GST credit or your Canada Child Benefit increase um, until you file those taxes. And for individuals, the two main credits that are available now are the Enhanced GST credit, which you have to file your tax return to get and it comes with your refund. And the other one is the Canada Child Benefit. So if you have kids, they're increasing that benefit by about 300 bucks per kid. Um, and again, you have to file your taxes and it's kind of ranked on the July 1st to June 30th year. And if you're a small business owner that is worried about having to lay employees off or you're a worker that's worried about getting laid off, there's two programs, the Emergency Care Benefit and the Emergency Support Benefit that the government just announced. And these really just extend EI benefits, insurance and employment insurance benefits to those that wouldn't otherwise be eligible. For example, self-employed people, contractors, freelancers, and there's some other perks as well, like there's no one week waiting period. But these workers are now eligible for 450 a week for up to 15 weeks. The other one is the uh, business wage subsidy. So if you're a business and you have employees and you decide not to lay them off in this slow time, then you get 10% of each employee's wages subsidized up to a, a cap, $1,375 per employee and $25,000 per employer. This is available immediately and all you do is reduce your payroll remittances for the time being. So it's, it's really to keep people employed right now. And for all those small business owners that have revenue sliding and employees and payroll to make, and there's some seriously hard decisions to make in the next little bit when it comes to layoffs and getting people on EI and not going bankrupt, there are some options for you. The government's helping with some of those emergency support and care packages, but also there's the temporary layoff solution. So you can lay somebody off, they can collect EI, and then in 60 days, you can decide to bring them back on. Or if it's a more permanent layoff, that's when you pay them severance. And just a note to all of our clients and all the small business owners in Alberta, I just want to let you know that we're with you through this. This is as hard of a time as any of us have really seen in Alberta. We're available here to chat, any one of us here at True North Accounting. We care about small business owners and we want we want you to have clarity and certainty and nearly impossible right now, but nonetheless, if you ever want to chat, give us a shout. We're here. We're in this together.